In this video, I'm going to make a full comparison between Evernote and Apple Notes. Hey everyone, Matt Giaro here, and on this channel, I help content creators and knowledge workers create a business around their passion and their expertise. So if that sounds like you, hit the subscribe button now. And before digging deeper into today's subject, make sure that you check out the first link in the description, which is actually a free PDF that will give you three powerful tips to supercharge your note-taking system, and this no matter which app you're using. So with that being said, let's dive deep into the shared features between Evernote and Apple Notes. So the first thing that is actually shared between those two apps is that both apps actually have an offline mode. So the thing is that when you are using Evernote, the offline mode is only available on the paid plan and we are going to review the pricing later on in this video. The second shared feature is that both of those apps have actually an iOS shortcut integration. So if you check the screen right now, you have pretty similar functionalities, which is really great when if, if you're an Evernote user and want to use actually iOS shortcuts. So it's not a big deal that an iOS app has an iOS shortcut integration, but it's a great deal that you see a third party app works with iOS shortcuts. So the third feature is that actually both of those apps have actually a cloud syncing feature, which means that your notes are going to be backed up automatically to the cloud. Another shared feature is that both note taking apps allow you actually to attach voice notes, PDFs, or even photos to their notes. The fifth shared feature between both apps is that they are both using a folder structure. So if you're looking for tags, you may go for Evernote because Evernote also has a tag feature, but the backbone and how actually Evernote is built is also on a folder structure. And the last shared feature is actually that both of those apps allow collaboration. So you can actually add someone to your notes so that they can get access to it, either just a read-only access or also an editor access. So right now we just covered the shared features and let's just dive deeper into what differentiates Evernote from Apple Note. So let's just dive deeper into the platforms that are supported for both Evernote and for Apple Note. So the thing is that Evernote is a true multi-platform note-taking app because it works on Mac and on Windows. It works on iOS and on Android. But Apple Notes only works on the Apple ecosystem, which means that if you have a Mac and an Android, you will not be able to access your notes from an app. So you'll have to actually use your browser in order to access your notes, which is not that convenient. So if you're someone who's actually hooked into the Apple ecosystem, you have an iPhone, you have an iPad, and you are using also a Mac, then Apple Note is interesting. But if you're, as an example, working on a Windows machine and have an iPhone, then this makes it a deal breaker. So let's just dive deeper right now into the file organization. If you remember, I told you in the shared features section that both of those apps are actually using a folder structure. And you have way more versatility when it comes to Evernote because they also have a tag option, which means that you could, as an example, just create a notebook and then just start tagging your notes to use the tag option. But when it comes to Apple Notes, there is actually no tag option. So if you are a big fan like me of the tag option, then this is actually also a deal breaker when it comes to Apple Notes. The other thing, and this is, to be honest, one of the biggest and most important points is when it comes to portability. What do I mean by that? So actually, the, your notes are your kind of intellectual property, right? So especially if you are a knowledge worker, if you are a content creator, the thing is that your notes may represent years of curating content, years of taking notes. And you certainly don't want to be actually a slave of one specific platform because things are evolving rapidly. So you want actually to be able to export your note and even change your note-taking app platform in the future if another tool that you find more suitable actually comes out. And here is the thing, you can export your notes from Evernote, but this is actually not the case on Apple Notes, which means that if you really want to export all your Apple Notes, what you have to do is you have to copy and paste manually every single freaking note. So be careful when it comes to portability. The other point I wanted to tackle here is when it comes to end-to-end -to -end encryption. So what you have to understand is when it comes to Evernote, there is actually no 
and to an encryption by the time I'm recording this video. When it comes to Apple Notes, what you have to understand is that there are two types of notes. You have the regular note and you have a secure note. So the secure note actually is end-to-end -end encrypted. But by default, all notes are regular notes. So if you really want to have all your notes end-to-end -end encrypted, you have to activate the secure note feature on every single note. Let's just right now talk about speed because note taking is all about actually speed and also be able to retrieve your notes quickly. So if you're looking for something that's really fast, Evernote is slower than Apple Notes. Another point I want to tackle here is actually the pricing because pricing matters, right? So the thing is that Apple Notes are obviously free. And you also have a free plan when it comes to Evernote, but as you see here, you are actually limited, which means that you have no offline mode, you are limited when it comes to your note size, but when it comes to Apple Note, actually, you're just limited in terms of the space remaining on your iCloud account. So depending on your needs, you may consider going for the premium version. The other interesting point is actually a Zapier integration. You know, Zapier is actually a platform that allows you to make different apps communicate between themselves. And what's interesting is that Evernote has an interesting Zapier integration. See, you have different triggers and different actions and different things that you can actually do with Zapier. But when it comes to Apple Notes, they don't really have a Zapier integration. So there may be some workarounds if you want to achieve some specific actions when it comes to shortcuts, but actually having a Zapier integration is way handier than just trying to find out how the shortcuts app actually works. The other interesting feature is that you don't have any templates feature when it comes to Apple Notes. But instead, if you go for the paid version on Evernote, you have actually a template feature which allows you actually to insert specific templates when creating a new note. So right now the question is, well, which app should you choose? Should you go for Evernote or should you go for Apple Notes? Well, before giving you the conclusion, let me remind you of the first link in the description that will give you a free access to three powerful tips to supercharge your note-taking system, and this no matter which app you're using. And by subscribing to this PDF, you're also going to get my free daily email newsletter where I help content creators and knowledge workers through their journey in order to transform their knowledge, to transform actually their notes into a business. So here's the thing. So if you're looking for integrations and actually looking for a note app that works on every platform, then Evernote is certainly the way to go. And also last but not least, which is in my opinion, the most important point is that you have actually an export feature when it comes to your notes on Evernote, which you don't have on Apple Notes. But if you're looking for something free, something simple, something that's fast, well-designed, and pretty convenient, then you could certainly go for Apple Notes. So right now, there are three things that you can do. Number one is to download the PDF for free by just checking out the first link in the description. And if you appreciate this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe also to the channel because I'm going to release more videos like that in the future. And also what you could do is just continuing watching another video on this channel. It will certainly help my watch time and also help me grow my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.